Welcome to How To Pam. Today I'd like to show you a great way to, um, to make a, a video GIF. There's a program out called Shotcut Video Editor and it works very well for making video GIF files if you like to have video GIF files for uploading to Twitter or other media sites. It's available for Windows, for Mac, for Linux. The nice thing about Linux, you just download it, unzip it, and it's ready to roll. Okay, so we download it here. We go to our downloads, we unzip it, maybe put it in the home, and we've got it here. Okay, and there it comes with an executable file. We'll just check the properties, check the permissions. It is executable, it's allowed us to execute. So let's just click on that and see what we get. There we go. Okay. Now, if we're going to make a, a video GIF, we need to open a file. Here is a video file. Okay. It starts playing. We can stop that. Okay. We have a timeline down here. If the timeline is not on, you can turn it on from here. Okay. If you happen to mess things up, you can restore the default play the default layout right okay and if you would like there's no timeline so we can put the timeline in right there okay now let's grab that and drag it down to the timeline our video and you'll notice when we do that the indicator runs all the way through to the end let's just click on play here and there's the end of it so let's bring that indicator all the way back to the beginning Okay, we'll bring that indicator back. We'll keep bringing it back further. There we go, there's the beginning. Now, we want a section of this video, so let's move the indicator down a few minutes. Uh, let's go a little further back. There we go, here's a good spot. Okay, so if we want to cut that video there to get a little bit for our GIF, let's just use our right mouse and click on the indicator here and say split that video at the playhead right there okay then we can remove this section okay now let's move our indicator back to the beginning right there and let's just play a few section seconds of that video to see where we want to stop it again and you can go ahead this shows you here okay that's enough to give us an animated gif so again let's right mouse click on the indicator here split that video and then we'll right mouse click on this section of the video and remove that and there you go we have a section of video here let's just play it and you can go ahead this shows you here okay that's wonderful. That's all we're going to use for our GIF. So now we want to export that little piece of a video as a GIF. So let's go to export the video and let's look in the files for what we want here. Here's a GIF, an animation. Okay, that puts us over here. You can see that the video size was 5, 720 by 430. That's pretty big for a GIF on Twitter, so let's cut that in half maybe. Let's make that 360 and cut the other side in half to 215. Okay, so because we cut these exactly in half, the aspect ratio stays the same. Okay, frames per second, 25 almost. We could have it at a better quality if we want. A good quality a lesser quality let's leave it with the good quality and let's go ahead and export that right here it tells us it wants a name so let's give it a name we'll call it uh, my second gif and we'll okay there we go 
it's working away here. Okay, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and it's done. Let's go in there and see what we got, okay? There we are, my second GIF here. Let's just check the properties on that, see how large that is. Oh, 2.4 megabytes, that might be too large to upload. A person may have to play, uh, take a few frames out or make it a smaller resolution. Okay, but let's have a look at what we've got here. Let's open it in the photo viewer. And you can see here, everything is moving around as expected. Okay, so there's our GIF created, our video GIF. Okay, not a lot to that. We want to finish this program then, so let's close our controls here with this little X here. And let's close our, our uh, project. We don't need it. Don't save it. And let's close Shotcut, Shotcut Video Editor. And there is your video, your GIF, your video GIF. Hope you enjoyed that tutorial by HowToPam. Thanks for watching HowToPam.